Hey everyone, um, this is going to be the video that I've been wanting to make for a long time now. It's the video where I explain how I sleep in my car when I go on road trips. It might not be very exciting, it's literally only going to be me talking and showing you how I sleep in my car. Um, but if that interests you or you're thinking about maybe going on a road trip and giving it a try, I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. And yeah, so my car is a 2003 Toyota Camry, so I sleep in a, in a sedan. And if you think it's not possible to sleep in a car this small, you're, uh, you're wrong, because I can do it. <laughs> It's not, it's not very luxurious, it's not very, there's not a lot of space, um, but it works for me and I really like um, being able to save a lot of money when I um, go on road trips. So the road trip I just got back from, I went from um, Santa Rosa area down to San Luis Obispo in California and that trip took a week and I slept in the, this car every night and save myself so much money. I mean, just do the math of uh, a place, a hotel you would typically spend the night at, whether that be like a more cheaper range hotel to uh, maybe more of an expensive hotel and just times that by seven. And that's the amount of money um, you would save if you slept in your car instead. <laughs> so I just got back from this trip, um, but I, I uh, vacuumed the car <laughs> and kind of, um, trying to make it look a little bit cleaner. It had a lot of uh, sand in the car because I was uh, spending a lot of time at the ocean. So uh, yeah, let's get going with this. I guess it's a tour, a tutorial, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah. So one of the first things I want to say about sleeping in my car is that it kind of changes every time. I've been on a lot of road trips um, that I where I've slept in my car and each time's a little bit different and each time I try and make it a little bit better and I think the thing that I've been noticing that I do um, differently each time I go on a new road trip is I just bring less. I bring less stuff because I don't really need that much stuff and it really works for me so the less I have to move around the better and and yeah a minimal travel is the way I like to travel best. I basically got it down to where I sleep in the car, um, a duffel bag of clothes, and then I have a bag that's kind of like the toiletries bag with like, you know, my toothbrush or shampoo or a hairbrush and stuff like that. Then I have a bag that's um, like got media stuff. So that's where I have my computer and my chargers and um, my camera and stuff like that. And that, and then I have um, some coats and uh, hiking shoes and that's pretty much everything that lives in the trunk. And then um, in the back seat I have um, my um, a box that I keep dry food in and that's what's also changed um, over the years is how much food I bring on road trips and and I've been noticing I just bring less and less and I, I bring a lot of snacky stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated and um, I just try and eat uh, I, I don't eat out very much um, I just I'm also trying to try to conserve money where I can in in the food department as well. I've also been bringing um, a jug of water with me which I've been finding really nice to not have to just fill up my water bottles all the time in in a restaurant or in a Starbucks or something like that so that's been really helpful and then I think that the star of the show of uh, the way I sleep in the, my car basically to me is the curtains that I put up and it gives me a lot of privacy and makes me feel um, I guess it makes me feel safe um, which is the whole topic that I'm going to discuss after I do the tour is like feeling safe when you sleep in your car but I have um, this really awesome hack where I hang the curtains with binder clips and they kind of they clip into the interior of the car and it's great. 
I'm sitting in the trunk of my car. I'm sitting on this um, is where I sleep. This is where um, my feet are usually. My head is actually in the car, um, like half of my body. But um, uh, I'm not really sure how to do the tour. This is my duffel bag and I have all my clothes in there. And I have, it's just socks, underwear, a bra, shirts, pants, um, shirts to sleep in, and a workout outfit. And then this bag is where I usually put my dirty laundry. And then on this side is where I have my hiking boots and jackets. And I use this bag a lot because um, at night when I am looking for a place that has a bathroom so that I can brush my teeth and wash my face, I'll usually put my um, toothbrush in here and anything else that I need uh, when I get ready for bed. Uh, so I use this a lot, hat. And then this is my um, duffel, little duffel bag that has um, like my toiletries in it, like my hairbrush. Um, I like I have like a eye mask in case it's bright out. Um, there's just a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is uh, my shampoo and conditioner, and that's what's in there. And then back there is my purse, which has my, it has my laptop and lots of like chargers and books and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the stuff that lives in the trunk. Now let's go into the back seats of my car. So this is the current setup of how I slept in my car on the most recent road trip I went on, and I tried something different. Um, I borrowed um, this pad from my mom, and it is going from the trunk out into the back seat, and this is the seat that usually um, lives over there, and I um, pulled it out and it's just sitting here uh, on this side of the seat and that's how I sleep. So I actually sleep with my head on this pillow which is on, uh, kind of propped up by like a picnic blanket and the towel that I always bring on trips for taking showers and then underneath all that is, my, is the um, box that I store. <laughs> Um, my dry food in. So that's how I slept this trip. I, I guess maybe I should get, maybe I'll like lay in there so you can see it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to show this stuff by myself. But um, these are two sleeping bags. Uh, so I slept with two sleeping bags on top of me and that was plenty um, because I was in SoCal and even though it's the middle of winter, it was very warm. <laughs> So I um, was a very happy, cozy uh, camper in the car. This side of the car has the blankets that I put up and I'm going to show you how I do that. So this blanket gets put up um, and this blanket gets put up as curtains. And then this always lives in my car. This is just like a bag full of car stuff. Like like this is I uh, got like jumper cables in it, uh, I don't know, Kleenex box spare, um, paper bags. Um, yeah, things like that. And uh, usually I don't really use the stuff in here, but I always have it. It's kind of like the just-in-case stuff that's important to have in your car. And then I don't know why, these are um, shower shoes that I just like wedged in here. Uh, so that's the way the back seat area looks. <laughs> okay, I propped up the camera on the blanket and I'm gonna show you how I sleep in this situation. Uh, first, I'm going to take my shoes off. Um, great, so <laughs> I um, just put my legs under the blankets and scooch on in. Like that. And then I put my head on the pillow. The door's shut. And the curtains are up so no one can see me and then I just sleep like this. And it's really comfortable. 
<laughs> I kind of want to take a nap now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the way I slept in the car on this last trip. Oh, I just want to take a nap. It's so comfy. Um, my feet don't even touch the back of the trunk. There's that much room. So this is me completely spread out. And I have so much room. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you what it's like when I put up all the curtains and make it all homey and uh, give myself some privacy. So let's start with this curtain. It's still up in the back. Yeah, I just left this back here. I haven't um, folded it up yet. Um, so these are the amazing hack that I was talking about. I think I've shown this in another video. Um, probably one of the first videos I ever put up when I went on that really long road trip through Canada. But this just sits right there in my car, just like that. Ta-da! Okay, I did one clip there, and there are two clips up here, and a clip there. So now the whole back window, for the most part, a little bit of light is still getting in. It's shielded and covered. And now I'll do the sides of the car. Alright, so that's all that side of the car now um, shielded um, from view. Alright, that's the third blanket up. And the last step I do is put up um, my uh, windshield. Uh, sun covers. Ta -da. So the whole car is um, got blankets around it now <laughs> and that's the last step I do before going to sleep at night. Whew, it got so hot in the car once I put all the curtains up. <laughs> um, so I've, I've taken all the curtains back down um, but I feel like that's pretty much a tour of the setup of the car and how I sleep in it. And um, I think now I'd like to talk a little bit about maybe what the, the daily routine is of sleeping in your car. Um, so the first night that I sleep in my car on a road trip, I um, spend some time finding a place where I feel safe. <laughs> so I typically sleep in residential areas or parking lots of grocery stores. Um, I've slept in like a church parking lot before. Uh, places that I know I, um, I probably won't be noticed or bothered. And once I found a spot um, that I feel good about, um, and I kind of just go with like a gut feeling about it, um, then I will um, lock all the car doors and um, put up the curtains and go to sleep. Oh, and this is after I've already found a place to brush my teeth and wash my face for the night. So some of the things I do to feel safe, um, I always leave the driver's seat empty. I never put anything on the seat in case for some reason I need to get up during the night and move the car. I can sit in the driver's seat and start the car and pretty much leave immediately. Another thing I do is I always keep my car keys with me. Um, I don't like hold them in my hand while I'm sleeping, but they're like resting right next to my um, pillow uh, along with my phone and I keep my keys with me because if for some reason something bad were to happen like someone wants to try and get in the car or something I can push the um, panic button on the keys and that'll create a lot of noise you could always like honk the horn a lot make noise I think most most of the time that would that would work in scaring anybody away who's probably just trying to see if any cars are unlocked so that they can steal steal stuff. I just uh, pick places that I that um, look like nothing bad would happen and I don't really know how to describe that. 
think I'll just say the places that I slept on my last road trip. So the first, I slept in a residential area the first night and the second night. And oh, it's so hard to remember, they all blend together. And the third night was the residential area. Um, I usually pick places that where the streets are kind of um, dark. Maybe there aren't as many um, street lights there because then the light won't be like blinding me through the um, spaces and the curtains. And usually I like to pick a place where um, there's a fence or there's like a lot of vegetation like on one side of the car. Uh, I don't know why, that makes me feel like like less people might be watching me, I guess. <laughs> so weird to talk about. Um, yeah, so I did residential, residential, residential. Residential. Yeah, so I, I did five days of residential and then I did two days of um, a parking lot. In the morning when I get up, I usually drive somewhere to find a, a bathroom or I'm like when I was parked at, in the Whole Foods place, there was a bathroom there. So I could just walk into the Whole Foods and use their bathroom for free um, to wash my face, and brush my teeth, and go to the bathroom. And yeah, take the curtains down and I'm on my way. And in the past, I've had more stuff. And so the morning routine or the nighttime routine involves kind of like moving some stuff around in the car, but I'm really glad that I don't do that anymore. I literally can just park somewhere, put up the curtains and go to sleep because all my stuff fits in the trunk or um, is in the back seats and, and that worked really well for me. So since I don't have a bathroom in my car or a shower, I have to find those places um, along the way during the road trip. So. I think that's a crow making all that noise. Um, so I think I mentioned in my recent road trip videos that during this road trip I just went on, uh, one of the days I used, um, I went to a gym and they had showers and then I used their showers. And then the other time uh, was I uh, took a hot yoga class and used their showers after. And I really like doing that because it's so nice to get in some exercise and actually I forgot to bring I don't know why I forgot this on this road trip I forgot to bring running shoes and a yoga mat and usually those are two things that I always bring on road trips specifically for reasons like that for using a gym or a yoga studio for their showers <laughs> so I had to um, run in my like normal walking shoes and then I had to rent a mat when I was at the yoga studio but oh well <laughs> so that's how I stay clean um, on road trips and that's kind of the day-to-day -day summary of how I sleep in my car and how I find restrooms and how I find showers and then when it comes to food I snack on the food that I have and then I will um, buy food along the way so on this recent road trip I think my 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 food schedule this trip was find coffee in the morning and then have a snack uh, kind of snack during the day and then buy um, a cheap dinner and that's kind of the way that this trip went so I think the last thing that I want to talk about um, in this video is just about safety and um, I think it's kind of a controversial topic. Um, people think it's you're not safe sleeping in your car or, you know, it's just bad things could happen and I could never sleep in my car because I'd just be so afraid. And I think being afraid um, hinders a lot of possibilities for people who maybe would really like to travel cheaply. Um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about, but 
you could be in a bad situation pretty much at any point and that's beyond your control <laughs> so whenever you drive your car there's a possibility you could get in a horrible accident and whenever in your, you're in an airplane there's a possibility it could crash like these things there's so much to be scared of I think you just have to decide to live the life you want anyway despite the fear so I'm gonna go ahead and be really transparent about the times when I haven't felt safe on the road and it's been a very minimal amount of the time um, so I think I should count it up how many days that I've slept in my car on road trips so many like maybe it adds up to like months of sleeping in my car at this point yeah it's got to be because I've done like multiple three-week road trips multiple two-week road trips and multiple one-week road trips um, so it really adds up and I think out of all of those nights sleeping in my car there have been less than a handful of times when i didn't feel comfortable and had to change my sleeping situation for that night so i think the first incident that comes to mind i think it was the first time anything sketchy ever happened was when i was on a road trip in canada with my ex and uh, we found a place to sleep uh, in a residential area, I think outside of Vancouver, I can't remember. And um, my, I think like at three or four in the morning, um, someone tried to open the driver's side door of the vehicle. And the vehicle was locked so it didn't work. And then we woke up and my ex was like, um, get out of here or something like that <laughs> and like a very like deep male voice and the guy was like oh man and just left and then we got up and we moved the car to another residential area so that happened and then uh oh one time i slept in a church parking lot and around midnight a police car showed up and they asked to see my identification because the church where I was staying had like a, a video camera of their parking lot and had called the police because they wanted to know who was sleeping in their parking lot. And so I gave my ID to the police officer and then he said I could continue sleeping there and that was it. And then I think the only other thing that comes to mind that was a little bit sketchy was on this recent road trip where I accidentally parked my car in front of a driveway. So at like six in the morning, someone knocked on my window and it was just a guy saying, can you please move out, out of the way of this of my driveway? I need to get to work. <laughs> and that was totally my fault and I felt so bad um, that I hadn't noticed that it was a driveway. Usually I'm pretty good about that. So those are the only times where I felt where it was sketchy and those I mean only really the first instance was really sketchy and the other two times were um, totally fine and all the other times I've slept in my car I've had no trouble so those are the, the stories of the, the very few times when I haven't um, things haven't gone to plan while sleeping in my car <laughs> I parked in this park that um, there are a lot of birds chirping so sorry about that and then uh, a lot of cars and there's nobody around but every so often a car drives by and I feel like um, self-conscious and stop filming <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of anything else I can say about sleeping in my car I just love it so much I love it um I don't let it I don't let being afraid stop me from doing the things that I love which is going on road trips seeing new places traveling cheaply yeah and for to me it's really really worth it and I put a lot of effort into making sure my car um, is uh, runs well so this is like I said it's a 2003 Toyota Camry so it's really old I think I have I have over 200,000 miles on this car by now I think I've had this car for five years now I just try and take really good care of this car and 
um, I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. Actually, the right in the middle of this road trip that I just went on, um, the I turned on the AC on the hottest day, which wasn't even that hot. I think it was like the day that it was like 77 degrees and I was um, just finished hiking Bishop's Peak. I tried to turn on the AC and the AC light was blinking and it wouldn't work. So I was like, oh no, no, this is horrible. And um, I, I uh, looked up online and it actually had quite an easy fix. Um, uh, it was like a relay problem. I think I still have the, the relay, the old relay that stopped working. Yeah, this relay, um, it was in, it's in the hood of my car in the fuse box. And I think it's called an ML, MLCLT or something. Um, I can't remember what the name of the relay is, but it, um, it's dead. So I had to buy a replacement and now the AC works great. <laughs> so there's just, I'm always constantly trying to make sure that everything's, working in the car and so if you're someone who wants to go on long road trips um making sure that your car is up to speed like doing like a trip check at your local les schwab or um you know ne never missing an oil change stuff like that is important for your car's health i'm trying to think of anything else to say about um sleeping in my car um that's pretty much everything i wanted to talk about um if you have any questions about um sleeping in your car and road trips and traveling cheaply go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and i'll try and answer uh, your questions there or um i could make another video in the future um just answering those questions um as like in a video um, but thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe and like, and um, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more car road trips in the future because I love it so much, and um, I'm glad I finally made this video. The way that everything, that I explained everything isn't necessarily the way that I'm going to be doing this all the time. Like, the pad that I have, it's my mom, so I'm going to give that back to her, um, so I won't have that. Um, next time and it'd be really nice someday to get a bigger car <laughs> where I can sleep not halfway in the trunk that would be nice <laughs> um, but for now I um, I'm so grateful and thankful that I have this car and that I have the ability to to sleep sleep in and road trip around and um, and I'm, and it's um, a really wonderful way that I love to spend my time seeing the world. <laughs> so that's, I think that's that's it for this video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>